My mom, I'm going to Cassie's. Excuse me? <laughs> no, you're not, young lady. Excuse me? Excuse you? What do you mean, no, you're not? I mean, you're not leaving to go to Cassie's. I just made us dinner. What? Why? Why are you so controlling? I am sick and tired of you just coming and going like you please. This is not a hotel. I only see you like 20 minutes a day. Mom, are you dumb? I am a full-time college student. I work and I have a social life. And I was going over there to do homework. How dare you defy me? I raised you. I put a roof over your head. And that's how you're gonna treat me? You know what? Fine, do whatever you please. I don't care. You're a ridiculous child. And guess what? If you come home after 10 p.m., that door right there is gonna be locked. Blah, blah, blah. If you come home after 10 p.m., the doors will be locked. <laughs> whatever, Mom. Bye. Oh, she's such a brat. Oh, I almost forgot. Toodles. Ah, oh, brat. Yes, oh my gosh. I am so happy you came over. This homework was kicking my butt till you decided to help me. Yeah, I got you. Oh, now that everything is out of the way for me, what's up with you? Yep, just turned in my last assignment, so looks like we're both done. What do you want to do now? We can... Can you guys shut up or do it? Just go home. I'm trying to sleep over here, and I can hear you two laughing like hyenas through the walls. This is a shared apartment space. Sorry, Karen. I am so sorry about her. She's sensitive to sound, but we weren't even being that loud. It's okay. Uh, it's getting late anyway, so I should probably get back home. The later I get home, the quieter I have to be so I don't wake up my mom. You know, the Wicked Witch of the West. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll just see you tomorrow at school, okay? Okay, are you sure? You're still too loud! Yeah, especially so you don't have to deal with that anymore. No, oh, Thanks for having me over. I'll see you tomorrow, Cass. Okay, see you later. See you. Are you freaking serious? She actually locked me out. Please pick up. Please pick up. Hello? Oh, Cassie, thank goodness. My mom locked me out of the house because I came home too late. I don't know what to do. Oh my goodness, what? Uh, of course you can come over. You can sleep over tonight. I'm so sorry. That is insane. I'll be right over. <sighs> Julie, what the heck? Listen to this. Julie, this is not a hotel. I've had it. You cannot go as you please. I'm sick of you coming home late. Starting now, weekday curfew will be at 8 p.m. and weekend curfew is at 10 p.m. Doors will be locked after then. I'm sick of walking your dog and waking you up for school. Doors are locked tonight. What? I don't understand. I mean, before I left to go here earlier, she told me that if I would be late, the doors would be locked, but I didn't think she was actually serious. That's horrible. I am so sorry, Julie. But the rest of the note doesn't even make any sense. You're literally one of the best dog owners that I know. You walk me so every day. And you also have school and work. It's not like you can take off 24-7 and take care of the dog. Exactly. No, I'm going to have to wake up super early just to get home and get all my stuff before I have to go to school tomorrow. And the whole part about her waking me up for school? I never asked her to do that. She chooses to. I am perfectly capable of getting myself up early for school. I do that every morning of every single day. Yeah, that's awful. I, she's crazy, Julie. I'm so sorry. I know, but I'm just so glad you picked up. Of course. Oh. I'm just glad you're safe. I would have had to sleep in my car. Wow, she really doesn't care where I sleep. My own mother locked me out of the house. 
because I was late one time. I'm 21 years old. You're an adult. Why is she doing this? I don't know. You know what? If she really doesn't care where I'm at, she doesn't deserve to see my location. Oh, <laughs> she's going to be pissed. Good. Well, come on. I have some ice cream in the fridge with your name on it. And we can watch your favorite TV show before bed. How's that sound? Sounds great. Let's do it. Cool. Come on. Hey, just wanted to let you know that I got to my house okay. Thank you so much for letting me sleep over last night. You have no idea how much I appreciate it. I'll let you know how it goes today. Good luck, dude. Mom? Yes. Miso! Miso? Miso? I guess we'll talk about this later. Hello? Where are you? Outside of my class? Which starts in five minutes? Your location was off. I, I didn't know where you were. Well, you didn't seem to care where I was considering you didn't leave me with a place to sleep last night. You're being so dramatic. You read my note. I had plenty of reasons. I'm sick and tired of you running around like you own the place. It's my household and it's my rules and you need to listen. Are you serious? I... Mom, where's Miso? Well, if you must know, I took her to doggy daycare because you're never home to take care of her. What? Are you serious? I... And you owe me 60 bucks, by the way. Whatever. I don't have time for this. I have to get to class. Bye! Oh my gosh, are you serious again? This is getting ridiculous. But this time. I came prepared. What are you doing here? It's after eight o'clock and that door was locked. Only one way to bypass the chain. Julie Rose, how dare you? After everything I do to provide for this family, you repay me by cutting my lock? Mom, it is my house too. I am 21 years old and I'm getting locked out of the house because you don't like me coming home late? It's not just that. It's, it's like you didn't even read my note. Are you kidding? Of course I read the note! But mom, some of that stuff is simply not true. I am such a responsible adult. I take care of my own problems. I wake up for school, I go to work, I take care of me so. I manage it all and I still manage to see all my friends on top of that. Why are you getting so worked up over this? I I'm just upset because you're never here to help me. Are you serious? Mom. You locked me out of the house. Our house. Not once, but twice. And all because you don't like that I've been coming home later? I know you said that there's other issues, but that seems to be the main one. You never told me that you don't like me coming home so late. Do you realize how much this hurts me? That you just cast me away like this? If Cassie hadn't picked up, I would have had to sleep in my car. Well, I, I just figured you'd be okay and it would all work out. I, I was hoping to teach you a lesson and I thought you'd be fine. This is why I turned off my location for you. Because if you didn't seem to care where I was when I was sleeping, why should you be able to see where I am when I was awake? This really, really hurt me, Mom. I don't understand why you thought all of this was better than just talking to me about things. You know what, you're right. I should have just talked to you. 
and I'm really sorry about the door. I, I just thought that was the most effective way to deal with the situation, and I was wrong. It would just be really helpful if you were home more to help me out around the house. I know, and I understand, but Mom, can you promise me that next time you have a problem that you communicate with me? I, I promise. I really do. I, things have just been so crazy lately, and I got frustrated, and I had this wild idea that I could teach you a lesson, and clearly I was wrong. I love you so much, honey. I love you too, Mom. <laughs> Communication is the lifeline to any relationship. Ugh, so true. <laughs> Listen, sweetie, it's getting late. So I was thinking I could make dinner before bed and in the morning we can rehash schedules and go through the curfew stuff. And by the way, I agree that 8 p.m. and 10 p.m. is a little unrealistic of a curfew time for you. <laughs> a little? Okay, fine, Mom. I'm just glad you're finally communicating with me. <laughs> Remember, relationships are built on communication and not just assumptions. So true. I love you. 